Hi right, guys, so in this video I want to talk about prospective memory and you, the way you can trigger reality checks in a lucid dream. This is something which I teach in my Lucid Dream Bootcamp course, which you can find on, on my website in the description. But essentially what this is, it's not a new idea. This is, this is a very common way of remembering to do reality checks and it just involves tying the idea of reality check to something that can trigger you to have that check in waking life and therefore in dreams. So. Let me just give you an example. Let's say if you told yourself, every time I see a dog, I will do a reality check. Before we get into this video, guys, just make sure to click the subscribe button and turn on notification. This really does help my videos actually get to you as opposed to just being lost in the YouTube wilderness that they otherwise might have drifted into. Now, what that's gonna mean is that if you, wake, if you go through your waking life and your waking day looking out for dogs, when you see a dog, you'll do a reality check. What that means is that in a dream when you see a dog, you'll also do a reality check because you've sort of conditioned your brain to remember to do a reality check when you see a particular stimuli, in this case a dog. This works very effectively, but it works even better when you combine it with something that you're already dreaming about. And what I mean by that is your dream science. We all have recurring themes in our dreams, things that we always find enter our dreams spontaneously, right? So like, for example, you might always dream about dogs, for example, or you might also always dream about a particular type of car. You could also dream about a particular person or anything like that, or a place. And these, these are what's known as your dream signs, the things that recur in your dreams that you can identify with and you understand. Now, a really effective thing you could do is to tell yourself, I will do a reality check whenever I see my dream sign, whatever your dream sign happens to be. If it's a person, then every time you see a per that person, do a reality check in waking life. And therefore, when you dream about that dream sign, you'll do a reality check, ask yourself if you're dreaming and become lucid. This is like the, one of the fundamental techniques and ideas behind testing your reality because you want it to actually show up in your dreams. There's no sense just doing pointless random reality checks, although they are good and you know, they'll increase your chances. It's far more effective to tie it to a dream sign because you're already gonna be dreaming about the thing and the chances are if it's a dream sign then you're gonna see it in waking life as well and so you can sort of train yourself to attach reality checks to something you're already going to dream about. This is also how you can, you can also apply this to things like false awakenings and nightmares. If you always have the same nightmare, you can, in waking life, tell yourself, whenever I see this thing, whatever the nightmare is, and pull up a Google Images search of what the nightmare is about, by the way, and look at the image, really study the image. Say if, let me give you an example. Say if you're scared of tight spaces, pull up a Google Image search and type in, like, claustrophobic caves or tiny rooms or something like this. Whatever the whatever makes you visualize the nightmare better. And really study the images and tell yourself as you're looking at the images, I will do a reality check when I see this or when this happens. And even as you're looking at the images on the screen, do reality checks there and then. Do this several times a day and eventually what will happen is that when you have that recurring nightmare about those claustrophobic rooms or caves or whatever it is, you'll automatically do a reality check and become lucid and escape the nightmare. This is a really powerful technique and it does work. You know, I've used this myself, I've heard of others using this and it's not new really, this is not news, but a lot of us tend to forget the real meaning and point of doing reality checks. It's not to just tick them off your to-do list every day, it's actually to build your critical awareness and make sure that you're aware of yourself, what you're doing, what's going on around you, and questioning whether you're actually awake or not. So there's that, you can use it to escape nightmares. Now false awakenings are a very similar thing, okay? So m most of us have these experiences where we, we dream about waking up and then after a few minutes of you know going through our morning routine, we are snapped back into the bed and we wake up again. And sometimes this can happen up to 10 or tw even 20 times in a row, and it gets to the point where you don't know whether you've actually woken up or whether you're just having another dream or a false awakening. It can be annoying, it can even be scary because you can lose touch with what's real and what's not, especially if you're half lucid in these experiences. For example, you might lucidly be aware of the false awakening and you might genuinely think you've woken up because lucidity is often similar to waking life. You have that conscious awareness that you are there right now and that what you're seeing is real. You're also aware of the fact that you're in control of what you're doing when you're lucid and when you're awake. So this, the two states are sort of similar. And so that way, in that way, false awakenings can be confusing because you can't often tell the difference, especially if you're lucid, between false awakening and an actual awakening. Or can you? If you do reality checks every single time you wake up first thing, 
then after a while you will never have false awakenings. You'll have actual awakenings or lucid dreams because you will have trained yourself. Obviously, there'll be exceptions, obviously. It won't be every time. But more often than not, instead of having a false awakening, you'll do a reality check, become lucid, and have a normal dream. A normal lucid dream, that is. So hopefully this has been helpful. You know, there's been... Uh, there's been a few emails coming in to me about reality checks and how to get them to show up. So, so that was just a few snippets from my Lucid Dreaming Bootcamp course, which is actually on sale right now. It's on sale for a couple of days only, uh, I think till about Thursday or Friday this week. But if you're watching this after that date, that's absolutely fine too. It's still a great deal uh, for you guys. It's a very good way of having your first lucid dream. If nothing else seems to be working and you just want to have something that can hold you accountable and make you do uh, you know, the actions every day that will lead to a lucid dream. So that's it for now guys, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment and let me know what you think. Have you tried this? Let me know.